Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today we're going to be making tatty scones. Um, so for this, you're going to need some mashed potato. Ideally, if you've got some left over, um, like I've got here, I've got about 400 grams of mashed potato. I've got a little bit of knobby butter and I've just got some plain flour. And that is it, guys. That's all you need to make these great little dish. Um, ideal for a Sunday breakfast, a fry up. Um, you can have it savoury, you can have it sweet. Um, now, all I'm doing here is I'm starting off with um, four heaped dessert spoons of flour. All in all, for 400 grams of mash, you're going to need about 125 grams of plain flour. And you're just going to add that gradually. And all you're doing is you're going to make the potato into uh, a dough. Just like if you were making any kind of cake or making some kind of bread, that's what you're going to do. And you just keep adding the flour until you get the consistency that you want, which it means it's all holding together. See there, I've add, added another bit of flour in there. And I'm just going to keep working that until it all starts coming together. While I'm doing that, I want to say thank you for the support. Thanks for watching these videos. Um, the comments are great. Um, it just honestly, it, you guys are along on this journey with me. And I'm ever so grateful. So I am not a professional cook. Uh, by no stretch of the imagination, I'm just a simple home cook, just try to make best of what I can. Um, so once it's all come together, as you can see there, I just like to add a little bit of butter and some salt. Now it may seem a bit strange, but once you see the finished product, you'll understand why. I've not added all that butter in, because I'm going to keep some and I'm going to put it in the the frying pan and now I'm just going to reincorporate that butter. You can add the butter and the salt earlier, it's completely up to you. Once you've got it all incorporated and back in, what you want to do is you want to move it to the side, dust down your, your board or your work surface, however you're going to do it, and then you're just going to work the, the mixture into the uh, until it all holds and it can be then cut. Now the great thing about this, whilst you're making it into a dough, is that these can be cut into any shapes. And this is a great way of getting the kids involved in cooking. It's pretty straightforward. There's no major um, what, technical stuff that they need to do but the finished product is unbelievable so you can see there all i've done is i've just flattened it all out once i've got it to the the level i want it like a like i said like a bread dough for this again i'm just going to cut it into strips just to show you but if you've got fancy cookie cutters triangles circles stars whatever you want whatever makes it uh, more entertaining for the kids get that cut so you can see there I've put the rest of the butter into the frying pan and all I'm going to do now, while that's nice and hot, I'm just going to lay them down into the pan and let them cook. These will take, because the, the mash is already cooked, um, all you're doing is really reheating it, cooking the flour out of it. So they'll take maybe four, four minutes, five minutes on each side and then they'll be done. So after a few minutes, you can see there, flip them over, and they're looking perfectly golden on the outside, still fluffy in the middle, and you just want to cook them through and keep them going. And then, as you can see here, guys, I'll just flip them over. You can see it's absorbed all the, the butter, and that's why you want to use butter in this rather than uh, oil. And you can see how crispy they are on the outside. There's nothing better than getting something that's nice and crunchy on the outside and fluffy in the middle. Guys, this is my Scottish tatty scone recipe. Again, the shapes can be chosen to your liking. Uh, normally, they're in sort of triangular shapes. I've done them this shape just to, for ease 
of uh, making them. Crispy on the outside, fluffy in the middle, exactly what you want. Um, guys, I hope you are all looking after yourselves out there. From my family to yours, stay safe. I hope you try this. Um, thanks for watching. Till the next time, single dad out.